You're watching a Holy Week pilgrimage brought to you by the International Community of the Holy Sepulchre in association with Premier Christian Media. Hello and welcome back to our Holy Week pilgrimage. And today we enter Jerusalem. Now if you visited Jerusalem at the time of Jesus, you couldn't avoid the temple. It was a huge construction that dominated the city. It took up around a sixth of the area of the city itself, and in many ways it was the whole point of the city of Jerusalem. It was the reason why Jews from all over the world wanted to visit, to offer sacrifice in the temple, the only place where you could offer sacrifices to the God of Israel. Now the first temple had been built by King Solomon many centuries before, but that one was destroyed by the Babylonians in the 6th century BC and only began to be rebuilt when the Jewish exiles began to return. Now when they did try to rebuild it, that temple was a rather unsatisfactory affair, nowhere near as grand as the original temple. But then around 40 years before Jesus was born, King Herod began to rebuild the temple in magnificent style. So when Jesus arrived in Jerusalem, what he encountered was Herod's temple the place where Jewish people would come from all over the world to offer sacrifice. Now, not everyone was delighted with Herod's temple. He was only half Jewish, and so some people felt that he was not the right person to rebuild the temple. But either way, there it was, this huge edifice that dominated the city. But this temple was also built around keeping people out. Around the edge of the temple area, was a covered portico where you could buy animals for sacrifice or you could change your money into Tyrian shekels, the currency of the temple, a kind of bureau de change. And inside that was a large open courtyard where anyone could mingle. But at the centre was the temple itself and you entered by a door through which only Jewish people could go. Gentiles were excluded from this point in. And yet in the Hebrew scriptures, the prophets pointed to a day when the Gentiles would be invited in, bringing their gifts to offer the God of Israel. When God visits his people, that will be the time when the whole human race has access to the holy place, the place where God dwells. Now against this background, the words Jesus utters during his brief demonstration in the temple are striking. He quotes directly from Isaiah's prophecy that the Gentiles will find a place in God's temple, and Jeremiah's famous protest against the temple of his day. Jesus' complaint is precisely that the temple was intended as a house of prayer for all nations, but he adds, you have made it a den of robbers. And so as he goes into the temple and overturns the tables of the money changers, this demonstration in this act, Jesus seems to be saying that now is the time for radical change. God is visiting his temple. And this is the time when all people everywhere are invited in to worship the God of creation, the God of the whole earth, the God of Israel. This was the time when the promises for Israel could be opened out to the whole world. And it seems that the robbers are not so much the money changers, but the chief priests and the scribes who haven't recognised that the promised day has finally come. Now, just a few years before Jesus was born, another controversial Jewish leader had arrived in the city called Judas the Galilean. Now, he was a revolutionary whose aim was to rid the nation of the hated Roman occupation. He had gathered his followers, marched on Jerusalem, with the deliberate aim of purifying the temple. And when he arrived there, he found it was deserted, the gates burnt down and weeds growing everywhere. And so he ordered some of his followers to fight the temple guards so that they could purify it. His aim, however, was to keep the Gentiles out, to keep the nation pure and to avoid contamination. Judas the Galilean cleanses the temple to keep the Gentiles out. Jesus the Galilean cleanses the temple to invite the Gentiles in. The Gospels tell us that later on this week, at the moment Jesus died, the curtain of the temple was torn in two. And maybe today is a good day to give thanks that all of us, whatever our background, whatever our ethnicity, whatever our status, all of us are welcomed into the very presence of God, our maker and creator, to know his peace, his love, 
his forgiveness and his welcome. I am Father Thomas, Franciscan from the Custody of Holy Land. We are in Jerusalem. Behind me is the old city of Jerusalem and we see also Temple Mount where Jesus preached, teach and he threw out from the temple uh, money changers. We know that the temple was the, was the sign, the present of God with his people. But for us who believe in Jesus resorted, we know that Jesus is between us, as he told where two or three are together on his name, he is between us. We are praying here for the, all the people who believe in him, for the peace, and especially in this pandemic period, that the people can find the hope, the love, the consolation in it is more important events in resurrection. We pray for the all the pilgrims who was here, who wants to come, and for the Christian in this place, in this city, that they are living testimony of these all events. Peace be with you.